Hello, this is John from MyBrennanGames.com, and I'm here today to play some mystery Atari 2600 games. I played Phoenix on the Atari 2600 yesterday, and I thought I'd play some more Atari 2600 since I've got the console out. Uh, this past summer, I got a handful of Atari 2600 games for a deal at a garage sale. I actually got to haggle a little bit with the lady, that was pretty fun. Uh, some of the games do not have labels on them. There's an Activision game. Here's just a normal Atari game. This was a Mattel published game for the Atari 2600. You can tell it just looks like an Intellivision cart, but it's got the little adapter for the 2600. And finally, it looks like a Parker Brothers game. Again, no label. I haven't played these to date, so I thought since I've got it out, this will be a fun little experiment, fun little video. Let's check these out and see what they are, if they work at all. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with this Parker, excuse me, with this Activision game get it loaded up and see if we can figure out what it is if it runs that is like I said I've not tested these I've not played them looks like this one may not work without some additional cleaning cleaning okay well let's skip ahead then let's try this Mattel game Doesn't look very dirty down in there, so I don't know. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Okay, yeah, and this game looks like it's working. It does not look immediately familiar to me. Let's... Okay, I think this is. I think I have this game for the Intellivision. I really ought to turn down the volume because this is just blowing up my eardrums and this head, and these earbuds. I think this is like Night Stalker, maybe. Huh. Kind of looks a little bit like Pac-Man in the maze. Got a weapon here shooting these guys. Ooh. Not having a very good... Man, I'm just getting slaughtered by this guy. It's not having a very good go at it. Looks like the easiest thing would be to get them to come to me. Oh, got one of them. Okay, score of 6,000. I believe this is Night Stalker or something to that effect. Try some more. Wonder what. Wonder what the benefit of that gun icon is currently. I mean, I have a weapon, and those things are just shooting me as soon as I get out. That takes more than one shot, at least with what I have now. I wonder if that's just a weapon upgrade. Oh my goodness. Okay, got that one. You, mm, mm, he was transforming. I had hit him. You really got to plan ahead, shoot before they walk down the corridor, because they can fire off very quickly. Hmm. Should have backed up. Hey, I doubled my score though, so that's an improvement. Uh, let's give it another go. Hmm. Let me say, oh, that's just additional ammunition. That's all that is. Oh, oh trying to go up. I thought I'd maybe be able to make it. This is tough. <laughs> That's stupid. That was stupid. Let me take a look real quick and see if I can confirm that this is Night Stalker. Night Stalker, video game. Well, I guess Wikipedia is just going to give me some text description but may not have any answers. Let's just Google Night Stalker. And we'll Google Intellivision since this was originally a Mattel game. It originally appeared on the Intellivision. This is, I think, what they call an M network game, a Mattel network game. Come on, come on, Night Stalker. And I am also playing time clickers in the background on my computer, so I'll go ahead and upgrade some of these weapons. While I wait for Google to return 
in answer to my query. But for whatever reason, it's not going. Maybe I'm using too much horsepower on my computer. Capturing this playing time clickers. Uh, this looks like uh, it looks like Night Stalker. Although it looks a little different too. Mm. I think this will call for just additional research after this video. All right, I got two of them. Mm. Almost got away. Almost got away. Man, you cannot evade those. This guy goes so fucking slow. Like to at least defeat all the enemies in this first wave and see if maybe. See if maybe that's how stages are completed. Or is it just an endless stream of enemies? That's come on. I shot him. How can he sh how can he fire back? Oh man, just barely evaded that one. I better back up. Guys, too close for comfort. Uh, I kind of got myself cornered. Yeah, I don't know if I will be able to destroy all the enemies in a wave. Looks like these guys just keep coming. Oh wow, got him. Ah! Almost got away. Enemy count's getting low, but here come more. Okay, I'm kind of getting them now. Mmm, almost got away with it. Two, two more lives. Oh, come on, I should have got that second that second macaroni noodle. So look like two macaroni noodles dancing on top of each other. It's not a situation I wanted to remain in. Man, uh, this is a good run. Ooh, 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 this may not end well. 50,000 on the dot. Oh, mm. Didn't start going up soon enough. Okay, well, that looks like Night Tracker. I, I, excuse me, Night Stalker. I don't know that this is Night Stalker. Uh, let me see. Night Stalker, Atari 2600. I, then again, you know, the Intellivision was supposed to be graphically superior or something to the Atari 2600. Okay. And sure enough, this is Night Stalker. It just looks different from its Intellivision counterpart. Uh, but anyways, it looks like it's just endless wave of enemies. Just go for the high score. It took a little bit getting used to, but it was pretty fun. Once you do get used to it, that is. Okay, so that was that Mattel game. Let's try this Atari game. I wonder if this is just going to be combat. Wow, it's just combat. Well, it's, I think, mm, nah, it's combat. I mean, everyone knows what combat for the Atari 2600 is, right? There's no need in me playing that, right? Let's try this Parker Brothers game. Gotta squeeze that thing in there. Oh no. And that thing looks like, yeah, I guess that does fit. 
feels like it's almost too large for the game slot on the 2600. There we go. All right, Frogger. I can I can get down with some Frogger. That's going to need to get turned down because that again, that is very loud in these earbuds. Frogger is probably one of my favorite arcade games from this era, from the golden age of arcade games. My dentist office Dentist office I've gone to since I was a kid had Frogger machine, had a centipede machine, Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. And of course, you know, those games are definitively classics. Classics from the classic era. But nonetheless, I love playing those games. Love going to the dentist to play these games. I think Galaga was my favorite. Although maybe in the years since Frogger, I've grown to enjoy more. And this seems to be a pretty decent port of the game, too. Oh. All right, first stage down. You know, this is very colorful for the Atari 2600. Movement feels good. It's not sluggish. It's very responsive. Seems like they're doing a very solid job of replicating the arcade game stages and the amount of content that is seen in them. And the limited hardware. Come on, come on, turtles. Mmm. No turtles. You know, Night Stalker, I don't really have too strong of an opinion on that game one way or the other, but being that one of these myster mystery games was Frogger, I'm very pleased about that. I do I have Night Stalker for the twenty six or excuse me, for the Intellivision, so I'm you know I'm not lacking for that game. And of course I've got a variety of Frogger ports. Or, you know, name a console, but not the 2600. At least I did not up until, I did not know I did up until now. And this is a very enjoyable version. Of course, again, there's no music, just like there was no music, background music, whenever I was playing Phoenix yesterday think that's probably correct. Don't know if it's just my copy of the game or if it's just how the game was. Give me wood. Yes. Maybe able to beat this second stage as well. Oh, oh, oh. Looked like that may have been disappearing, and maybe it was just reappearing. All right, stage two down. Still got one frog in the chamber. Hmm, got ran over. Wow, got ran over again. It looks like maybe the hit detection is a little poor. Okay, 768 first go. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can improve that. Dun 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 Okay, now that that is done playing, we can hop to it. Alright, got my lady frog friend. Got that leftmost slot. That's arguably the hardest, right? Got my lady frog friend again. And oh, Almost made it down to that first row of turtles. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh. You know, this is one game that the 2600 joystick just feels very good with. Phoenix, I was kind of having to seem like I was manhandling that. All right, got the fly, too. Hot dog. Oh, oh. Seemed like I was trying to have to manhandle that just to kind of keep up with the action. Kind of gave my hand a little bit of a cramp, but 
this game is nice, slow pace. You're, you know, take it at your own pace. You can go fast, go slow, whatever it takes to get in the hole. Uh, and just this simple joystick action of it works well with the 2600. I usually always try and get those leftmost slots as soon as possible. Ooh. Just because I always feel like, oh well, man, that's, that was a bad, bad route there. I always feel like those are the toughest ones to get. But right now I'll take what I can get, especially to get that 666 off a of score counter. Okay, here's my chance to get this leftmost one, I guess. Yep. Awesome. I think, what, my score last time was 768, so at the very least. I may not make it as far into stage 3 as I did then, but it looks like I'm going to get a better score. Got it before the alligator fully appeared. Good deal. Bang. Ooh. Went a little too far, a little too far forward. That's that. Why don't we try? Well, I mean that's Frogger. What more is there to show? That's that's a really good version of Frogger, I think. Considering the Atari Twenty Six Hundred hardware, I really like that. That plays nice. Lastly, let's try and get that Intel, excuse me, Activision game to try it once more. Let's see if we can have any luck with it. We're 3 of 4 so far. Hopefully we can be 4 of 4, 100%. Nope. There's some dust in there. I almost probably need to get a Q-tip just to clean off these contacts. They look fine, but I can also see dust built up on the sides of the cartridge. Not that that would impact the playability of it. Just an indication that you know maybe it's dirty. Dirtier than it appears. Hmm. Well, looks like maybe this game just doesn't work. Yeah, I may take some Q-tips to it after this video and just see if I can't get it working. At the very least, it'd be cool to know what it is. At least got something. You know, I think that I think Frogger was doing that before we actually got it working. Oh, there we go. I think I just kind of had to angle it. It looks like maybe the contacts weren't making good connection. And let me see. This is like Stampede, I think. I think it's maybe called Stampede. This was on the. That Activision Anthology for the PS2, I don't know that I talked about it in that Phoenix video. I think I mentioned it just briefly. Played this before. Don't quite remember if I want to get all the cows or maybe not the brown cows. I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and reset. Kind of hear a little bit of the stampeding sound effects. This sounds very good for they're trying to emulate. I uh, probably want to avoid that. Probably want to avoid that cow skull. Okay, I guess I touched him. That one got away. I, I'm, I don't know. Seemed like I lasted longer. Just going for it. Okay, it looks like I'm maybe trying to get a specific number. No? You know, that three reduced to two, but I just stopped. Okay, it's still going. Oh. Huh. Let me do one quick Google search.
Stampede Atari 2600. And I guess while I'm at it, I'll uh, do a little bit of upgrading in time clickers. Keep those cubes rolling in. Yeah, my computer's going awfully slow while I'm waiting for that. Just keep it going here. Oh, I think maybe I remember. I'm trying not to let any hit the edge of the screen. I'm trying to rope them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I kind of want to get behind him. Oh, that one's going to touch. Nope. Oh, is that is that leftmost number how many I can let go or how many that can escape or kind of get lost? That's got to be it. Yep. Okay. It didn't take too long to kind of comprehend. That's what's nice about these older games, a little more simple. The simplicity allows you to kind of understand them a little easier. Less stuff to concern yourself with. So again, it looks like this is just endless in a sense. Just go for the high score. Uh, looks like I'm... Oh, save them. Got them. Wish I could move forward. Doesn't look like I can get any closer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I can only touch them a certain amount of times, too. Let's see. Stampede. Indeed, this is. Man, that was a pretty good recall on my part, I'd like to think. At least an 81 for the 2600, 1982 for the Intellivision. Uh, let's just gameplay real quick. The objective of Stampede is to round up all of the cattle you encounter. To do so, the player must lasso each one in order to capture it. The player is initially only allowed to let two cattle pass if a third one slips by, the game is over. An important caveat to this is that the player gets one extra free pass for every 1,000 points scored. So if a player were at 2,000 points and had not yet let any cattle pass, then he or she would be allowed to let four cattle pass before the fifth one ended the game, assuming he or she did not reach 3,000. Uh, this makes it possible for an expert player to repeatedly beat the game, as after about 5,000 points or so, the game essentially resets, and the same pattern is repeated. According to David Yancey, there is a bug which makes it so that the game will typically only allow you to play in a loop for eight playthroughs. Apparently, however, there is a version of the game with a different binary which allows one to continue to accrue points until the score 99,999 is reached. Okay. Well, that's straight off of Wikipedia, so can't trust it. Uh, but anyways, that was Stampede. We finally got it to work. So that means four out of the four mystery games worked. And there's one from four different publishers. We had this one from Activision, Stampede. We had Frogger from Parker Brothers, which was a very fine port. And Stampede's a pretty good game. It's enjoyable. Uh, we had Combat for the from Atari, which we didn't play just because it's combat. Combat's classic. It's, you know, the killer app for the 2600, I guess. Probably a must-own game for anyone who has one. And then from Mattel, we had Night Stalker, port of an Intellivision game. And it was okay took a little bit to get used to and get to where we could accrue a lot of points anyways I guess that does it for this video that was four mystery Atari 2600 games I'll probably continue playing the Atari 2600 uh, I've been having fun with it these last two nights so I will definitely keep doing it I got more games in the closet to dig through that I probably haven't played although I know what they are they do have labels anyways this is John from MyBrainOnGames.com. You can check me out there. You can also check me out on YouTube and Twitter as John Engelman, J-O-H-N-E-N-G-E-L-M-A-N. If you like this video, check out my other videos.